Okay, so this is going to be the herb garden project. I went and got a pallet of bricks. Um, I have these bricks from up by the patio in an area that I'm cleaning out and redoing a bed in. And I wanted to just lay them out and get a rough estimate of the size and how many bricks it was going to take to do one layer. Um, a pallet of bricks comes 112 bricks per pallet. I'm thinking they're $1.68 each, so you can multiply 112 by 168 and add the tax. That's about what it cost me that I've got so far. I've got to work on getting this area leveled because you can kind of see that it's, you know, it's on a slight hillside right here. Okay, probably time I do an update. Right now, I've got roughly a six and a half foot by six and a half foot area that is leveled out. If I take this level and put it here, <laughs> there we go. You can see it's level. So I've just got it like a rough leveled in. It's level this way. It's also level uh, from the top back to where I'm standing at. And I laid a compass down, pointed north. And then I put a line. There's my north, south, east, west. That's important for the orientation. Okay, so let me show you what I've got going on here. You can see I kind of have a rough idea how it's laid out. I used uh, the Sun Joe Tiller. is actually what I used to flatten it to begin with. And I had to extend it on this end up here a little ways. Um, not much, about 6 or 8 inches. And I just kept messing with it, rearranging the blocks until I found a pattern that I like. Now up here on this end, right there, is going to be a pond, and I don't have this area dug out yet for that. Okay, so when you are actually ready to start setting this up for real, I used a long level to kind of figure out where my lowest point was at, which happens to be this corner back here. And originally I was like, I can take some of this dirt and fill in this corner and get it raised up but that's not really what i wanted to do um, what i ended up deciding to do was take the lowest point and i'm going to level it both ways so you can see the block is level here and when i turn this you can see the block is level there and now i'm going to level every other block to this so instead of trying to bring the lowest point up, I'm actually going to take and bring all the high spots down. Because this first run really kind of needs to be set in the ground a little bit to kind of hold it in place. And even though this corner right here won't be, the rest of them will be. So it'll make sense when I'm done. I'll show you when I'm done. And I'm basically I'm just going around what I did with my little shovel. I'm just going around and using a gardening shovel and leveling each block. And then once I have it flat, I'm just making sure that they're level together. Make sense? Sure it does. Just to kind of show you what I'm doing with these blocks. I take this level and I put on here. And of course, it's that one's squared that way. This one here, the inner part is up too high. So... What I have to do is shave this down to where it fits. Did I already do this other one? This one looks unlevel too. Alright, actually the one next to it is not level, so let me do it. Can you see it? This one. Yeah, so I skipped it by accident. I was doing these in order. So, what I do is I move them out of the way and I kind of see which way they're going. But I found that this block right here is level, so really all I need to do is scrape this soil until my shovel is down to the bottom of this other block.
and all I'm doing is just kind of loosening the soil up some. This goes, this actually goes along much quicker than I thought that it would. Can you see? Yeah, you can basically see I'm just using this garden hoe, this little handheld garden hoe, to level this ground out. And when I think that I've got it right, I lay the other block down. And I'm looking at two things. I'm looking at how level it is with the other block. This one seems like it's, like this end's a little low and this end might be high. And we're about to find out with this level. That's ex actually exactly what the level's telling me too. So what I need to do is I need to take a little bit of this other side down over here. Still yet. And I kind of need to bring this side back up some. And I'm just taking some of the soil that I've moved out of the way previously and putting it on this side. And now let me put my block up here and check it again. That feels actually a lot better. We're level that way, and actually we'll be level that way once I tap this block down some. Yep, we're actually already there. And that's basically how I've been doing this. So again, we'll do, put this other block up here. So you can see, I can tell this end right here is way up. Definitely not level that way. We are actually level this other way. But I can tell that even even this end here is higher than this other block. So the whole block's got to go down, but it's really got to go down on this end. Again, it's a really old screw from I don't know when. So again, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Now we're getting into the grass and stuff. that I didn't get trimmed all the way down on this side. But it's probably gonna have to go now. Okay, now let's wait for this block up here. It feels better. We're level that way, and we're level that way, and it feels level on this other block. So it goes really fast. All right, folks, this is the final shape and level. Um, and it's kind of weird. It doesn't look level, but it is. From edge to edge to the center, it's level, and from center to edge to edge, it's level. But because it's built on a hillside, you know, I don't know what the actual slope is. It actually doesn't look level. <laughs> but if I walk across it, it seems like my feet go the same distance. And again, my level from edge to center and then from center to edge says that it's level in four directions. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Originally, I had planned to put cardboard down. But because of the weird shape of the circle trying to fit a circle into a square that I had leveled out just became too much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I'm gonna shred the cardboard and I'm gonna put it in these pathways uh, several inches thick <clears throat> when you're putting these blocks in there's a lip on the bottom of the block right here on the back edge the short edge and what I'm doing is I'm lining up the front corner with the existing block putting the lip down and then I simply scoot it around until the lip touches the next block and I'll show you how that's done so I put the block in lining up the first lip which is right here then I scoot this one back until it locks against the other block then that way it'll be secure
And you also have to make sure that there's no dirt on top of the next block. Anyways, a few people have asked me about the uh, cat and my hunting cat video. And uh, about a year ago, slightly more, it took off and I haven't seen it since. It's also about the same time that a bald eagle moved into this area and I had a bunch of chickens come up missing. And as much as I like to think he run off... I knew that cat better than myself and uh, he followed me everywhere and he would never just run off and leave me like that I know that's kind of like selfish to think but that's the truth anyways I waited about a year for him to come back and he never come back and the mice about drove me crazy over the winter so this is the new kitten only about six weeks old and again, I'm teaching it how to be self-sufficient. So it's helping me work today. Working on this spiral herb garden. This is the cart that I'm using to pick the bricks up in. And basically I just have the cat riding along. <laughs> and it works out pretty well. So uh, anyways, let me get the next load of bricks and we'll come back. Everybody must pull their weight around here. Can't have any slackers. Slackers have got to go. Better put your seatbelt on. It's about to get rough. Uh, this hill's crazy. It's about 190 pounds with a block I weigh 160. <laughs> All right. My sister asked what we were doing. Yes, you know. So basically what I did on the third row, I went back one, two, three and a half blocks and still doing the exact same thing. I line up one corner, make sure the top of the blocks are clear of any anything, line up the corner and then slide and lock the back corner. Still using my cart. Can you even see the area I'm working on now? Yeah. <laughs> So once you get your bottom row, it actually goes pretty quick. I've only been about, oh, maybe, well, 48 minutes. And I finished leveling out the last few blocks and putting the next two rows on. By staggering every couple of rows this way, you're actually making this stronger. Um, and you're also making it so that weeds can't really grow in between. I mean, they could theoretically, but it'll probably reduce it somewhat.
Okay, so what I ended up doing was I took the cardboard box that originally was going to go down along the base. Um, and I basically just cut it into strips and put it down. And I tried to be sure that I got all of the dirt areas. There might be some small ones like you can see one right there. But uh, it's probably four or five layers deep in most places but we aren't done because i don't want to spend the money to fill this whole thing up with soil and a few years ago when i built my um asparagus beds i used what's that called hygge culture whatever the hell it is i don't even remember i'm trying to remember off the top of my head but uh so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up about this area so not too far in and I'm going to start putting wood sticks down on top of the cardboard like that to to take up some of the gap that's there now this is mostly cedar and maybe some old ash and stuff that's fallen down around the yard um but it will, one, take up some space so it doesn't require as much soil. And two, it'll take a long time for it to break down. So let me get this done and I will bring you back. Okay, so now I've got the sticks in there. So I got the cardboard down. Now I've got sticks. And I'll kind of like walk around to show you that I basically went about halfway or three quarters up most of the way around now there's space under them see there but still all of this wood will take many years to break down and it's now going to require me probably about half the amount of soil to fill this up and technically I'm not done um, I still have a couple more rows of bricks to do but I run out of bricks only got three left and uh anyways so i wanted to just stop here and plus the storm was rolling in you can tell the bricks are wet so it's already rained it's pretty humid and i just wanted to get as much done tonight because it's going to be like two or three hour drive to go get more bricks and i don't want to waste that it's supposed to rain tomorrow too so i'll just keep working on this and i'll go ahead and fill it up to at least this level and then uh, that'll also let me know if I need to get, you know, if I'm going to need more soil or not. I've probably got about a half a pallet, so I've got around maybe 25, 30 bags. So let me go ahead and get the soil in there and we'll see where we stand then. Okay, you're going to have to excuse the mess of the soil bags everywhere. Um, basically, I used 16 40-pound bags of soil. That got it up to where, you know, I needed to be for now. I didn't bring it all the way out here because I still need to do the uh, pond area that's going to be right here. And I still got to go get the container for that. So when I go into town to get the other blocks, I'll get the container for that. And I actually think I've got enough soil. Um, since I used the wood, it took much less soil than I thought. I had about, uh, like I said, I think I had around 25 or 30 bags. And I've used 16 so far. And I've walked on this and compressed it down. Now it's going to settle some uh, when it gets waterlogged. And uh, it starts to settle down into those sticks. So, you know, plus I'm going to put another couple of rows of blocks on to raise it up just a little bit. But this is kind of what it looks like. I think it's going to work out pretty good. Thanks for watching. Kind of realize this looks different depending on how you look at it so let's just take a walk around 
probably not going to be able to see much from up here, but who knows. This cell phone camera had a little bit wider view on it. But there you have it.